So when we think about uh, human-caused climate warming, we, we think about the effect of the temperature getting hotter. Uh, but we're also seeing that the variability in the, the oceans that surround Australia is getting larger. So when we have one of these positive Indian Ocean dipole events, we get cooler than usual water in the eastern Indian Ocean, so to the northwest of Australia. And what that does is to change the, the atmospheric circulation and cuts off one of our really important moisture sources. And so the worst bushfire seasons that we see in southeastern Australia have tended to follow uh, these uh, cool events in the eastern Indian Ocean and, and have much more of an influence in that part of Australia than what um, El Nino events in the Pacific would have. We've been using corals to reconstruct the natural variability of the Indian Ocean Dipole over the last 1,000 years. Corals are like the trees of the ocean and so we go and we look at the growth bands and we measure the chemistry of those growth bands and they tell us what the temperature of the ocean was like when those corals were growing. So one of the big questions that we've had about variability in the Indian Ocean is how closely that's tied to what's happening in the tropical Pacific. And what we're able to show with this new data is that they're very closely tied and that gives us some really important avenues for how we understand the climate processes there. And having this information with a, a long record of how that variability operates can help us see that we have this trend where we expect these events to be happening more often and to be impacting our communities more often. Uh, we can see that there's the potential for these events to be even stronger than what we've already observed. And so we can expect even more extreme conditions in the future. And so that gives us some real cause to think about how we deal with these impacts as we go forward.